Tonight we're hearing from the mother of Lewis Nix, the former NFL player who was found dead this weekend. When she said that, I, I just lost it, so, because um, I couldn't believe it. They said they couldn't give me any more information. The former Reigns High School standout was reported missing on Wednesday. Last night, JSO's dive team pulled his silver Hyundai out of the pond on Broxton Bay Drive. This is just south of the River City Marketplace. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom joins us live where JSO found his car yesterday. Bree, you talk with the family and a friend of Lewis's today. Yes, the family and friends tell me that Lewis was loved by many and he always wanted to help people around him. The family doesn't have answers yet, but they're hoping to get some soon. That was my baby. That was my big Lou. I miss him. I miss him, but I know he's in a better place. Stephanie Wingfield, Lewis Nix III's mother, says detectives came to her house yesterday to tell her that they had found her son dead. When she said that, I, I just lost it, so, because um, I couldn't believe it. They said they couldn't give me any more information. Wingfield says the last time she spoke to Nix was on Tuesday, and she reported him missing on Wednesday. I knew something was wrong, and I had to call missing persons because that's not like my son. You're going to hear from him. Even one of his former Notre Dame teammates was concerned when he received no calls or messages from Nix. Did you find anything weird last week when you weren't hearing from him? It was pretty odd because no, I said we talked often. Wingfield says JSO pulled in his car from a pond near Braxton Bay Apartments last night where he lived with his girlfriend. But family members say JSO hasn't said where his body was found or confirmed that he's dead. The family says they were still healing from when Nix was shot at a gas station a few months ago. He got shot in December. God spared him. Now they're only left with the memories of a son, a teammate, and a friend. You know, our relationships you know, was beyond football. I just want him to be remembered by, you know, being a guy that was uh, being able to bring joy to others uh, and um, being someone that had the, the biggest smile. Well, just give your kids, your family, their flowers while they are here because who would have thought my baby wouldn't be here today? And JSO hasn't updated us yet on this case, but we will let you know on air and online at newsfordax.com when we know more. I'm live on the north side, Bree Isom, Channel 4, the local station.